Hi everyone. So um, today I wanted to touch on a topic that like I personally had some issues with in terms of like um, wrapping my mind around kind of how to do this or like how to kind of um, make sense of it all. But basically I want to talk about forgiveness. So you know, you always hear like holding a grudge is bad and that like we should forgive people. But, um, you know, do we ever really think about why that is? Why should I forgive this person? Right. And essentially, the reason why you should forgive someone is not actually for them. Right. It's actually for yourself. Um, now, there's a whole bunch of benefits that come from forgiving people. And I'm not going to go into like what those are. You can just look those up on um, like Google them if you want. Um, but yeah, like there's essentially a whole bunch of health benefits, psychological and emotional benefits that come from forgiving someone. So with that said, you know, the reason why I think we hold grudges is because, you know, we kind of think to ourselves like, oh, you know, why should I forgive them? They deserve me to be mad at them. And like, they de they don't deserve my forgiveness, right? Like they deserve to continue to be in pain because I don't forgive them, right? But here's the thing. If someone isn't saying sorry to you, right, they probably don't even care that you're in pain. They don't even care whether or not you forgive them, right? That's, that's one scenario. Now, on the other side of um, the coin is the situation in which someone says sorry to you, right? And maybe you don't forgive them. You're like, well, I don't care that you said sorry you screwed me over so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna forgive you but at the end of the day like this person is eventually going to forgive themselves before they before you forgive them um and you know and the way they would do that is essentially you know oh well I said sorry I did my part I did what I could do and if this person doesn't want to forgive me that's ultimately on them you know that there's nothing else I can do so that person will eventually go on and continue to live their life and it will not affect them every single day that you are in pain versus you who are constantly dwelling over the fact that this person did this to you and you're constantly in grudge mode, right? Like holding on to this anger, right? Holding on to anger is never a good thing. That's why it causes, it causes physical um, symptoms. So, so with that said, you know, th this is the thing. There's a difference between forgiveness and being a doormat, right? And this was kind of the hard thing that I had to figure out. I had a, a, a difficulty in trying to kind of think to myself, well, if I forgive them, do I also need to keep them in my life? You know, this person did horrible things to me. Am I supposed to just keep them in my life to continue to do that? But here's the thing. Number one, no, you do not need to to keep them in your life, right? When you forgive someone, it it doesn't even actually need to be said to them. Like you don't even need to tell this person like, oh, I forgave you because forgiveness, it's actually something that you internally have to go through. It's an internal reflection and it's not just some formality where they say sorry and you say, oh, I forgive you. No, like you really need to actually go through the mental process to forgive them and they don't even need to know because essentially it's it's for you, right? The forgiveness is for you, not for for them. Um, so the way that you go through the forgiveness process is it requires you to develop an, a, like a vast amount of empathy, right? Like it's, your empathy will increase a lot if you actually go through this forgiveness process. When you go through forgiveness, you actually have to sit there and think to yourself, okay, what in this person's life could have affected them, their character, their being that, uh, would, uh, essentially result in them hurting me and other people, right? What in their life could have affected them? If they had lived a better life, if they had lived a different life, would they be different, right? If the answer is yes, which it typically is, then you can understand, you can have a better understanding of why they did what they did. And I'm going to give you like a really basic example. Let's say that you know someone who has been through a lot of physical, emotional abuse at home. Maybe they have an alcoholic parent, something of that sort, right? Whatever they did is not excused, right? That stuff does not excuse their behavior. But solely understanding why they may have done it, maybe, you know, if you don't have parents to teach you these things, right? Like, hey, it's wrong to screw people over. You know, you, you need to have some morals. Or you're constantly living a childhood in which you're constantly hurt and, and neglected, okay? That is may essentially affect how you treat others in the future, okay? So you have to actually think to yourself, if this person had lived a better life, if they had lived parents who could have taught them, then there's a chance that they could have been a better person, right? Okay? 
So when you go through that process of really understanding the deep reasons for why they behave the way they behave, that it really has nothing to do with you, right? They didn't hurt you because you're, you know, some horrible person that deserves to get hurt. They hurt you because everything in their life has affected them and and they are a reflection of their internal being, right? All their actions are a reflection of their internal being, okay? And their internal being may not be at a heightened consciousness. They may not be aware of the things that they are doing that are affecting people. They, you know, and and even if they are aware consciously, they may not even realize why they do the things they do. And um, and to get further into this, it, you know, you want to think about like, I mean, I'm going to get really deep now, but like if you want to think about like people who kill others, right, psychopaths, at the end of the day, like even they, right, they are typically born with that. Like they're literally born with a, a defect in their brain, right? Their brains are different than, than people who aren't uh, devoid of empathy, right? So it isn't really their fault, right? If you think about it, it isn't really their fault that they are that way. If they'd been born with a different brain, they wouldn't be behaving this way. So there's always a way to understand and empathize with why someone is the way that they are and why they did something. Um, and when you start to really empathize and understand, you can sit there and say, okay, I understand. It makes sense now. What they did isn't right. It hurt me, but I understand where they are coming from. And if I was in their position, maybe I would have turned out the same way. Maybe I would be behaving the same way that they do. And then at that point, you want to, you know, really imagine yourself giving this person a hug and and showing them love and saying, you know, I'm sorry that you had to go through that. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that you didn't get to live the life that I got to live that allowed me to be this person that I am in which I don't go around hurting people. You know, I'm so sorry. And, you know, I wish you the best. I hope that you get over this. This is not something that you need to do in person. This is something you need to do with yourself in your own mind, right? Forgive them through your own mind imagination you do not need to do this with them in person because like I said, this is for you, okay? And um, and when you forgive someone, you do not need to keep them in your life. You don't, but at the same time, you don't need to um, wish them ill will, you know? You can love them from afar. You can um, hope for the best for them. You can hope that they, um, that they, somehow become a better person that something in their life impacts them so that they you know realize the error of their ways right um so you know with that said that is the difference between forgiveness and being a doormat you can forgive it can be an internal process right you can uh forgive them fr and love them from afar you don't even need to tell them because it's just for yourself it's not for them okay and um empathy is going to be the key thing and allowing you to forgive people, just really understanding why people do what they do and that it really isn't, it has nothing to do with you. It has to do with who they are and the things that they've been through. Um, so yeah, with that said, I hope that helped you guys. And uh, like I said, there's so many benefits to forgiveness. I hope you guys really take this seriously and, you know, try to forgive the people in your lives. Um, but yeah, with that said, I hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you are. And yeah, bye.